Hello everybody. Today here I have another fan that I got from a yard sale. This is an Aloha Breeze 12 inch oscillating fan. This fan is really dirty and I'm going to be doing a video of taking it apart to service, cleaning and oil the motor. This fan has a date code here from 2006 according to this sticker. Model number is zero. 4249 made in 2006 and it has a switch on the back this fan does work and it does oscillate I tried it at the yard sale that I got this from it goes from low to high here with the switch on the back. Oh, and back here, I think there's a screw there. I'll have to take it out to find the screw to get the motor cover off completely for deeper cleaning. But here it is, it does work. oscillate to lose a good amount of air for having mesh grills which are finger resistant to keep people from sticking their fingers in This base is removable too, so I'll take it apart for cleaning. That's the other side. Yeah, there's initial check and I'll do a video of servicing as well. So there you go. Here I'm taking the front grill off of this fan, then the blades and the back grill before I take apart the motor cover and the switch off, then the oscillating pin for complete cleaning and oiling of the motor on this fan. I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws for the front motor cover to clean the plastic with the other parts I took off. Once I removed the front side of the motor cover, I'm putting those screws back on so they won't go away and I know that they're there to put back together for the mirror cover and again these are Phelps screws and I had to use a Phelps head screwdriver to take these out
I'm taking the knob off for the switch here and I'll be using a 150 millimeter to 6 millimeter wrench here to screw this bolt off so I can take the rear motor cover off for complete cleaning. This is a tricky process and here I'm adjusting the wrench to make sure that I can fit into the bolt and unscrew it. Now I have to unscrew it counterclockwise to get off and this is an adjustable wrench I'm using. Once I get the bolt off, I keep in a place where I can find that I'm using a smaller Phillips head screwdriver to take the screw off to pull this oscillating pin out. Here's a smaller screwdriver I'm trying to use to get this pin off and this takes some time because it's so filthy. Here I just removed the rubber piece out from the motor cover and I just took the screw off with the Phillips head screw jar to take the cover out completely. Now I'm screwing the screw back onto the motor so it won't go away and here I'm unscrewing the knob from the base to get the base off here for cleaning. And as you can see it has a lot of stubborn grease on that I couldn't get off but I'll try again off for this video. Here are all the plastic parts that I was able to wash out with soap and water. The plastics look a lot cleaner here except for the motor cover and the base. There's still grease that I couldn't get off completely even with using a brush to clean the parts out. Here's the motor again for the fan. I'm taking the oscillating gear assembly off and the Capacitor off along with the wires on the side for the fan to make it easier to oil the front and the rear bearings of this motor. I'll be using 3-in-1 motor oil for this fan to oil and this is something that I had to do slowly to avoid making a mess from the oil.
After oiling the motor on this fan, I'm putting the motor assembly back on the stand. Then I'll put the screw back on and the nut back on for high adjustment the way it was originally. I'm putting back the screw for the cord on the back along with the wiring for the switch. Then I'm putting back the oscillating assembly and the capacitor back on which are held by Phillips head screws. I'm going to put the rear motor car back on first and then tighten it with the Phillips head screwdriver and then I'll put the Osling pin back in and the switch back on. I'm using a small Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the screw for the oscillating pin back here. And then I'll be using an adjustable wrench to tighten the bolt for the, the switch and then put the knob back in.
Here's the last part of the final assembly for this fan from servicing. I'm putting the front motor car back on and putting the screws back on with a Phillips head screwdriver. Then I'll put the rear grill on, the blades and the front grill back on. And then I'll put a video up at the end of me trying this fan out after servicing.